Hi guys, my name's Gareth, I'm from Strexum, and in today's video we're going to look at how to use Strexum in OBS. This video will assume that you already have OBS installed. Make sure you know which version of OBS you use and then download the relevant version of the CLR browser plugin from the OBS website. There will be a link to download the browser plugin in the description. Now what you're going to need to do is put the plugin files you just downloaded into your OBS folder. Depending on which version of OBS you are using, this will change. So for example, the 64-bit version of OBS can typically be found in C Drive, Program Files, OBS and then Plugins. For the 32-bit version, this will change slightly where it will be C Drive, Program Files with 86 in brackets, OBS and Plugins. Once you've found it, you'll just need to copy the CLR host plugin folder and the CLR host plugin DLL into the folder. If you already had OBS open, just close it and reopen it for the plugin to show in the sources menu. Now that the plugin is installed, it's time to get signed up on the Strexon website. When you're on the home page, one of the first things you'll see is a connect with Twitch button. Click that and then click Authorize to complete the signup process to Strexum. Now we get to choose a free overlay. For this example, I'm going to choose the H1Z1 Overlay Apocalypse. Actually, nah. I play CSGO more so I'll just pick Bloody Splat. Once we're happy with our decision, we can then click the Finish button to finalize it. Now it's time to set up our overlay. From the overlay page we're able to edit a whole host of options but for the sake of this video we'll simply change our name in the editor and turn off the webcam. Further down we'll just quickly edit the text of the integrated alerts and then we'll click update at the top. Our overlay is now ready to put into OBS. Scroll back up to the top of the page, click the copy button and then press Ctrl and C on your keyboard. Open up OBS, right click the sources window and then go to add CLR browser. Where it says URL we paste the link we just copied from the Strexum website and for the dimensions we'll put a width of 1920 and height of 1080 and then click OK. If you followed all of these steps you should then be able to click preview stream and see your shiny brand new overlay. I hope you found this guide easy to follow and make sure you subscribe for further tips and tricks videos in the future. See ya.